Hey guys, it's Carrie here and welcome back to my channel. We are now on season two, episode five of Angel. Let's roll that intro and get straight into it. Here we go. It's mad that that entire building is their office. There's four of them. The table seems far. Ah, you must be all worn out from sleeping for the last three days. We're financially sound through last Wednesday. What? The mortgage on the giant hotel, my salary. Oh, so there's a mortgage on the hotel? Get a vision. Well, it's not like you can hit me in the head and wham, it happens. Children, stop bickering. Literally, children. Like that? Someone in a red robe. Mush monsters not going anywhere. It's the place that we've got to find. They need to acknowledge this whole sleeping thing and actually tackle it. Oh, there she is. The predator. God, I miss you. Well, what did the place look like? Yeah. Ah, uh, didn't doze off. Where were we? Trying to ascertain the location in Cordelia's vision. Yes, Cordelia. You are so weird lately. T tackle it. Don't ignore it. Why do they keep ignoring this? Call gone. He's on the payroll now. Do you think we can really afford Wesley? Pulling gun. This looks like a Buffy type creature. Thrall demons can be tricky. Thrall demons. Each other and not ah. us. Oh, took a hit to the jaw then. Angel, I'm trying to get fat head. Fat head. Watch my back. <laughs> He can't even watch his own back. See, Wesley's still looking out for you. Angel, it's over. It's done. That's a bit weird, that angel. A little bit strange. He hasn't been sleeping well lately. He's off his game. Since when is it a game? True. It's a very serious job. They need to be taking this whole sleep thing seriously. You're sleepwalking now? Or is she actually the dun dun dun? Did that say Juliet? We're gonna see Drusilla in this. The wig, though. The wig. Darla. Yes. Why'd you kill the street walker? Oh, I just liked her. Guess what's next? What is it? Mm, surprise, you have to guess. The three daughters, the one in the middle, is something delicate and unique. Gypsy, maybe? She has the sight. Here she is! Dun dun! <laughs> Literally waiting on it. She sees the future, yet she sees what's coming. Down boy, let the plum ripen. Bye, Drusilla. Drusilla, Drusilla, my heart will try, and still I'm glad I back to you. Hot dog, hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog. It's my wife, Claire. She gets abducted by aliens on a regular basis. <laughs> Cordelia's face. She always comes back in a day or so. But it's not going to be aliens, is it? It's going to be demons of some kind. But I found this receipt from the Franklin Hotel when she was supposed to be in the Trifid Nebula. Are you sure we can get to the bottom of this? I mean, if it's not aliens. Mr. Jenkins, say hello to your new best friend. Do you think my wife's cheating on me? Probably. That's a terrific way to treat our paying customers. Just tell them what you've seen. A problem. He's our target audience. <laughs> uh, Angel? Personal bubble. Personal bubble! <laughs> I've spent a lot of it lately because of her. Or her here in town. Oh, no. I like Buffy as much as the next. Not Buffy. Darla. I've been dreaming about her like crazy, and I thought I was losing my, my mind. But... Why didn't you just say this earlier, though? It's impossible. You staked her to dust three and a half years ago. I know that. I also know it was her. I'm not crazy. Where? Right between the clowns and the big talking hot dog. Not crazy. 
between a big hot dog, you know. You know what you need? You need to go back to work. We have an exciting new case. Could be aliens, could be adultery. <laughs> I love her. Could be aliens, maybe a bit of adultery. So what is the plan exactly? I tease him to death? We want him dark. He did that to you. What's it feel like? Doesn't feel like anything. It's very smooth. Why does this feel so weird? You don't feel anything. Not in my hand. Oh, hello. Get a twinge. <laughs> he betrayed you. Everyone betrays you. That's not what eats at you in the long winter's night. You got a soul and it sickened me. All that power wasted on a whiny, mopey do-gooder. God, I could eat his eyeballs. But if you can't help yourself, then by all means be my guest. You're fun for a human. You know what? It's about bloody time. We haven't seen her for how long? Friend of a friend thought you might want this. He's moved. A friend of a friend, and who might that be? Who's the friend of a friend? Wait, she's supposed to be hunting him or something. What are you wearing? Marty, the aliens abduct me when the moon hits. I'd love to abduct you right now and conduct my own probe. <laughs> Adultery. Claire, your husband knows. Go home, tell him the truth. Work it out or leave. I don't care. <laughs> what was that? We had a paying client. Well, not everything's worth getting paid for. Oh, sorry. Guess you didn't take that whole dust to dust thing to heart, did you? I can smell you. Uh oh. I don't know what you're talking about. Now just leave me alone. I don't know what kind of game you're trying to play. Everything all right? No, this man, he was trying to. My name is Dieta Kramer. I don't know anybody named Darla. I know it's you. And I know you're not going out in that sun anytime soon. Demon! Demon! <laughs> Wait, what? There's two of her? Huh? Running from the hotel security staff, the nifty little outfit which seemed to tell so many conventioners, pet me, I'm a whore. <laughs> a woman walked into direct sunlight. Obviously, she's not a vampire. Obviously, Angel made a mistake. You think? Her hair looks great in this season, by the way. It was Darla. She's back. And she's human now. But you know, I know her scent. You can't just sniff a person and know. You had sex last night with a bleach blonde. Good lord, how'd you- It's unbelievable. I didn't think you ever had sex. <laughs> what could potentially be happening here, do you think? Everybody have fun tonight. <laughs> Everybody wank chung tonight. What is this song? I'm very sorry. You should be. You should be Angel. Tell me about Darla. You're at a crucial juncture, big guy. So talk. So, no. Let her go, bro. That way lies badness. You, you got murderous demons in here. You give them free advice. I set people on their paths, okay? And this is way off your path, sweetie. Hmm. Curious. It's me. Do you get an address? Uh, Angel, Wesley and I really think you need to... Cordelia, address now. It's 1409 Galloway Studio City. Got it. What are you looking at? Angel, you need to calm down, my guy. Really stood up to him. The next time I talk to him, I won't weenie out like you, Wesley. Don't start with me. <laughs> Could it just be like um, a relative, maybe? Obviously, a long, long ancestry type of thing. Was that too much? I mean, we're supposed to be married. Would I still be holding your chair if we were married? It's fine. Not just Dean. Uh, okay. So it is actually her. So she's not, like, trapped within Wolfram and Hart, like I thought. What'd this guy do to you, anyway? You're going to an awful lot of trouble to teach him a lesson. Uh -huh. If you don't shut up, I'm going to kill you. Okay. <laughs> Lindsay, can you hear me? I can hear you. How's the linguini? Uh oh, they're gonna trap him there. Who are you talking to? And then Cordelia and Wesley are gonna have to try and find it. And Gunn are gonna have to try and find him. It's not like he turns evil every time he gets his crank. He turns evil? Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
Well, there are forces that, that can make Angel revert to Angelus. And as evil blood suck vampires go, how would you rate Angelus? Oh, the worst. Hello, love. You made quite a mess out there. Convents, they're just a big cookie jar. Mm. I wish they didn't do the accent thing. I know I've said it before. No. 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 Spike. <laughs> oh, I've missed you, Drusilla. This one's special. I have big plans for her. Spike in the woodshed. Spike in the woodshed. So do we kill her during or after? Neither. <laughs> we turn her into one of us. And they do. She's a lunatic. Eternal torment. Am I learning? They're literally on top of her. 911, what is your emergency? Hello, my name is Yetta Kramer. There's a man outside. I told him to go away. Oh my god, he's breaking into the house. Yes. Do it and make it look real. That was illegal. <laughs> help me! Someone help me! Come on, Wait, he Wait. could just get in the house? He could just get in the house. Oh, and Kate's going to be there. You'll pay for this. Oof. No, take it back. I'm not move around. She's terrifying. They shot him. Yeah, I, I thought Kate might end up being here. One of my officers said that you recognize this man and his name was Angel. He started following me a few weeks ago. He, he kept calling me Darla. You'd buy it, wouldn't you? You would buy it. Terrifying. There's something wrong with his face. And I want you to know I will find him and he will pay for what he did. Okay. You've got no idea, love. I want you to make sure that this corner treads lightly in there. Okay. Well, I didn't expect that. Where is he? He's not here. I don't suppose you have a warrant to go along with this little search. Seeing as how he just murdered Stephen Kramer and kidnapped his wife, I think I've got probable cause. You guys want to help yourselves out here? Or go down with the boss? Listen, whatever you think Angel did, I'm sure there's Who's a... Darla? Uh-oh. <laughs> Quite the pickle here. Is she gonna play... Is she gonna play along this whole time? Herman Hart brought back in that box, and they brought you back as human. You feel what this place was like before they excavated it? The convent. You remember how much I like convents. Uh, it has come up a few times this episode, yeah. Come on, Darla. You and I were too old to play games. I need to talk to the real you. Well, that was a bit weird. I didn't like that. It's quite creepy. But you can scream all you want. <sighs> oh, I'm not gonna scream. <clears throat> what the fuck is happening? There's my boy. <laughs> What is happening? Angel? We want to find Angel as much as you do. He stalked that woman because he thought she was this Darla from his past. And he knocked down the door and killed her husband. He couldn't get into that house. He couldn't get into that house. He's still a vampire. Gun, not helping. So how you get in the house? Yes. She invited Thank me? Thank you. Of course she didn't. In the only way Angel could have gotten into that house uninvited would be if the real owners were dead. That woman who said she was Dieta Kramer. Look familiar. Mm-hmm. She does indeed. She's currently sucking the face off our Angel. That's enough. I'm pretty familiar with the international sign, fair enough. And you have a ways to go. What's the play, Darla? Just having a little fun. Wolfram and Hart didn't bring you back for fun. I mean, so screwed up, I go bad again? It's kind of trait, I know. They're only human. You're talking about your own kind now. So she is human at this point? You have a soul now. Pretty soon, those memories are going to start eating away at you. You won't be able to escape the truth. I mean, she's not acting like she's got a soul. All you have to do is let me give you one little moment of happiness. You took me places, showed me things, but you never made me happy. Oof, there it is. Well, that seems to have hurt her. That cheerleader did? Yep. In the early years, when you would have said I was the definition of bliss. Buffy wasn't happiness. She was just new. Then why wasn't the curse broken? I couldn't feel that with you. Because I didn't have a soul. If 
find out who did away with the real owners of that house, and you'll find your killer. You don't get it, do you? The innocent are the ones that get caught in the crossfire. Those are the ones that I care about. They do too, though. Real owners of that house, if what you say is true. He's trying to do what's right. I'm sorry, and why did he kidnap that woman again? Because he knew it wasn't actually the other. It was Darla. See, no matter how good a boy you are, God doesn't want you. But I still do. I'm getting whiplash. What do you want, Darla? And then she runs off. But not before a quick... What? No goodbye kiss? One-liner. Because she can't help herself. That was a weird, that's a weird look right there as well. Scared of falling asleep. We haven't seen you all day. I didn't go bad, Cordelia. Oh, I was never worried about that, boss. Of course, Mr. Fussy Pants always assumes the worst. What? <laughs> I never. Is there anything else? <laughs> oh. There's going to be trouble. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of trouble. And I say bring it on. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Well, another episode down. And another good one. I do always enjoy seeing Darla and the dynamic that she has with Angel as well. Because it's it's so, like, layered. With very different. And a lot of the time, like, uh, contrasting feelings. Like, there's a lot of heat there. There's lust there. But then there's, like, hatred and disgust. And then there's nostalgia and like sickening uh, feelings that is just very up and down when they're together and I'm always confused by Angel's looks and glances because I know that Angel is good but the odd look that he gives I'm like and jealous that you <laughs> do you know what i mean it's very misleading and i think because like darla said they've known each other for years years and years prior to him having the curse even so she see she turned him she's seen him before he, he was a vampire after trying to teach him the ways of, of vampirism and then she's also been disgusted by him having a soul and like repulsed by that enough where she shunned him and then he's gone and killed her later on yet whenever Buffy is disgust you can see her her jealousy her envy her heartache in, at times like she looked genuinely hurt by it and like angel said that's her soul that is her soul feeling those things and eventually she's gonna feel these people that she's killed and this this hurt this uh, this anguish as well like all of these emotions and they're gonna be overpowering for her and i kind of want to see that i think that the actress that plays like jilly benz the way that she plays Darla is perfect because she plays a lot of things very sexually. It's very breathy, the way that she talks, the way that she moves is quite sultry. But then she can switch it on and then she's very like vulnerable and naive and I can't find the right adjectives, but she just she plays it so well. And even when she was like on the phone playing the, the scared housewife, it's just fantastic genuinely fantastic and she's such a hothead that i never know where the story is gonna go which i really like i like being on my toes you know i like that we saw kate again in this one because it's been a hot minute <laughs> since we've seen her like she she was such a powerful presence within the show and then she just disappeared and on the odd occasion they've just thrown her in there and i, I don't know i feel like a lot of potential was there and they've kind of missed the mark on it 
in my opinion but i don't know what goes on behind the scenes maybe she had another job and they couldn't get hold of her maybe it's just money related I, or whatever either way i think that kate as a character should be utilized a lot more because the way that uh kate and angel are on screen i still stand by the chemistry that they share and i do i always enjoy it and even when she was with the group then like cordy and wes and gun as well i just i like the dynamic there like this angry hurt cop that just doesn't trust anyone she's had her whole life turned upside down and she's half like numbed by it and half like fueled with revenge that she wants to uh like inflict on the world i don't know it, it's very um it's very interesting to see and i want to see more of it Lindsay as well he's very like head in on angel he just wants that revenge on him for losing his hand or taking his hand so they say lose it which jumped off uh but he's really angry at angel he cannot forgive him even though let's be honest Lindsay, you brought it up on yourself you chose the wrong side but whatever uh and then wolfram and hart obviously have their own plans it's just that we don't really know what those plans are currently they just they know that angel is a threat to the business and they need to get short of him and apparently dala is the one to do it but i disagree i think if anything it's going to make the whole situation more difficult so i guess time will tell there obviously love all the comedy lines as always in this uh cordelia's hair and makeup on point in this episode and i want to watch more of the show i'm really really enjoying it and i hope you guys are enjoying my reactions as well if you are give this video a cheeky thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you could be so kind but as always there is no pressure here and i hope to see you again soon for another video thanks for watching guys bye And now it's time for a comment from the Dat Pack, and today I chose the lovely Dave Ford, who says, I don't think you need to apologise. The previous episode is a critical favourite, but that doesn't mean you have to like it too. Wouldn't be worth a damn if your reactions weren't honest. And this is from my 203 reaction, but it's in reference to 202. I had a lot of similar comments on this, and I cannot thank you guys enough. And yes, you shared what you love about the episode, which I completely respect. And there was no one like yelling at me for having a difference of opinion. And it just makes me just really proud of the community that we've created here. Like, I'm, I'm so grateful to each and every one of you. And just the maturity as well. Like everyone knows that this is art and everyone sees things differently and they like some things that other people don't like and vice versa but everyone can share their opinions i think as long as you're polite and respectful it goes a long way guys it goes a long way and i know it is and i want to thank dave and all the other people that commented to say look we want your honest opinions on things it doesn't have to be the same as what we feel uh, so yeah all i can say is thank you guys and i'm very appreciative of each and every one of you guys if you would like to support please do so and leave your comments i love to read them and who knows maybe your comment will be in the next video thank you so much for watching guys and i'll see you for the next one bye, -bye.